today I'm going to take you on a little ride in, in my Tesla Model 3 and I'm going to show you autopilot uh, actually it should be called co-pilot and anyway, I'm going to show that to you on the highway and what you're going to see is the lane assist features that have been enhanced with the new release in 2019.8.5 software that came out it was April 4th today is April uh, 6th and in 2019, there's been a number of firmware updates, uh, software updates, whatever you want to call them, and they've been primarily around um, some enhancements lately on the autopilot. So you'll see the blue button here it says navigate on autopilot. What does that mean? Well, it used to be you'd have to engage that and it would give you some reminders and say what lane you should be in when you're getting near exit on a highway, right? I don't use Navigate on autopilot on surface roads like this, not really meant for that or ready for that yet. But on the highway it gets more interesting and you'll see in half a mile we'll be on the highway. Um, unfortunately it looks like we'll be driving into the sun, but hopefully the camera will do alright. Uh, this is a very new camera and a new mount, so I'm experimenting a little bit with sound and camera position. But um, from a one minute test video I took, um, it seemed to do okay. With uh, vibration resistance. And uh, you're at 2.7k uh, wide angle, um, 60 frames a second. So this should be a pretty smooth video. All right. Now coming up, there's some reports of traffic light detection and stoplight detection. I don't believe we're there yet, but again, I'm not going to experiment on surface roads. Um, I'm just going to safely, hopefully, have a chance to demonstrate for you the automatic lane changes, which will be confirmed by shaking my wheel and a chime vibration, and it can easily override by just not letting the steering wheel turn it off and ignore it. So there's nothing scary about autopilot on the highway, especially at a desolate highway with almost no cars around and decent uh, paint on the road with the uh, lanes, lane markings, it's fine. Um, but you know, in Harrier traffic or stop and go, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily trust it for steering. I use it more as a fancy cruise control for extremely accurate uh, traffic-aware cruise control, keeping a nice, safe distance from between me and the car ahead of me, automatically you know, braking and accelerating and all that. All right, so we're about to get on the highway together here. You'll notice it's showing me the current speed limit and my current speed. And if I engage autopilot, oh, right into the sun. <laughs> speed limit well that's true for the highway not so much for the on-ramp here okay here we go we're gonna have a decent amount of acceleration chance but also a very bumpy road hopefully the camera really can handle it see the ridiculous acceleration um yeah <laughs> even when it's not zero to 60 you know like 40 to 60 or whatever the car just goes and one of the new features in this firmware software update was 5% increased power. Basically Tesla looked at telemetry data and decided it's safe on the batteries and the and motors and cooling um, the temperatures and all that to give the user a little more power through a software update. Not too many uh, cars have ever had that capability. In the field, secure, so far, software updates. All right, here we go. It started with a single tap and that just gives me fancy cruise control, right? Bring it right to the speed limit of 65. Double tap, steering wheel light goes on, and now the car is doing the steering. There's a car to my left, you can see it on radar, you can see it with my eyeballs. You can hopefully see it in the rearview mirrors with your camera view there. All right, so lane changes are not gonna happen right now, and there's no immediate lane change coming to do my route here, to execute my route, including off ramps. So, I'm going to get a chance to show you autopilots, um, navigate on autopilot and its lane changing abilities. Well, that's going to be difficult unless I can find someone going slow in the right hand lane. Um, I don't plan to speed up to show this to you, I'm doing it, attempting to do it in the safest manner possible. Alright, it looks like we have a chance. 
So the lane I'm in is not correct. I want to be in the left lane. There you go. And there's a red line there, so it's not going to change lanes yet because this car there. It really shouldn't turn it on in the first place. And now it executed the lane change. So you got to witness that a blue pulsing, a visual reminder, and make sure my hands were on the wheels. And it was not going to change the lanes unless my hands were on the wheel. It wants to detect, you know, pressure and know that your hands are on the wheel and then all you're doing is basically confirming that you'll allow it to do a nice safe lane change. After the rear radar and everything made sure the lanes were clear. <laughs> you'll notice cars blowing by me when I'm going to speed limit here. But I am in the correct lane. I'm in the right hand travel lane of this left exit that's coming up. Said apply light if you force the steering wheel. I did. I hope you saw that. Briefly. Notice the jitter on the cars around me. If you own a Tesla, you might remember the kind of um, cartoonish car. Wow, that car was going fast. Those cars, well, very accurate. They don't jitter anymore. It jumped to the side, which made you, uh, it was not exactly reassuring that autopilot was good enough to get you safely around and guide you in your lane. Okay, speed limit's going to 50 here. I'm aware of that. I'm paying attention. Right there, 50. Let's see when that number changes here. Okay, up ahead I see 55, so we seem to be all over the place here. And now, there, 55, okay, it worked. A little bit of lag there. Anyhow, it's up to you to go the speed limit. I'll just point out, if you're not aware of this or never been in a Tesla, it's not gonna slow down for you to go to the prevailing speed. The speed is all up to you. So you saw me spin the right wheel here to change my speed. So that's about it. This little short segment ended up being a kind of combo video of a demonstration of Enhanced Autopilot new software features and a little bit of an overview if you've never been in a Tesla, maybe a, a teaser. Hopefully you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.